Hello guys. So today we will look into our uh, form builder. So we have created one form builder. In the form builder, we just need to pass one JSON file. From that JSON file, the form builder will pass all the JSON and will create the form for you. Okay. Okay. For the creating the JSON file, we have created one builder here. Here we need few things uh, for the form like uh, to create the json this will be the payload for the request uh, as we, uh, we will see the demo for the people tree project add study material for that project we will uh, we we are using this uh, add study material url right you can see here okay in this you just need to copy this payload copy this and just paste it over here and save payload right once the payload is verified and validated the next section will open up okay so this will be the few things that we need to require uh, that which are required for creating the form first one will be the form title so our form title will be the add study material or we can say study material Okay, then these are the optional parameters uh, whether we need to add some header class or we need to add some container class for that form and this form submit URL. Form submit URL will be the variable from the API.js file. Uh, in our example, I'll be using this user URL. Okay, please make a note for this. We will be using the variable from this API.js file. And we'll paste it here okay and these are the sections that we need for the json creation the section first section uh, as in this form we have only one section so we can add the title here like the study material details as you see here we are not showing any uh, section title here so we can Keep it as a disabled uh, section title as a move. Okay. And then we will set the section layout as a two column. Right here. Here we can set it as two column. We will set that. And this. Uh, this will be used allowed user ID. This will be used to whether to show for the particular role or not. So we just need to add comma separated user role ID like one comma two comma three whichever you want if we, if we kept it as a blank so uh, this will will display for all the role id okay then uh, form fits first one will be the title titles input type will be the text label whether we want to change the label so we'll make it as a study material study material title okay whether we need to add validations for this so we'll check this if we say yes then validation sections will get open i just want to set it as a required these are the optional fields input name value and condition these are the conditional logic that we need to add uh, the validation for particular conditions like if uh, previous value selected was yes then i want to add this validation so we can add this here so currently we don't need that so i'll uh, keep it as it is then for the advanced sections we have few parameters here like uh, container class input class placeholder and these are all the optional parameters okay and here we have one display condition as well whether to show this field or not like if we have selected the previous value for something like we have one uh, form element like the display form section one two if we select one then we need to display this field for that particular process or for that particular purpose we will use this display condition so currently we will keep it as no uh, for will enter and the placeholder placeholder will be enter study material type Enter study input real okay fine 
we can close it or next field we can add the field here input field will be the description text area label will be this validations like then the required field then for the advanced options i don't want to add anything extra so i will keep it as is then there will be the next field as uh, file input file that is attach document so i will attachment <coughs> there is file attach document okay validation like this yes. and advanced options in the advanced options is the file is multi file upload so i'll take it as yes and the uh, allowed file types like image slash tag and all the things if it is blank so it will get all the uh, images or all the uh, file types okay fine then next page next page is school year that is classic yeah classic so input type will be the select and here will add a school year okay if our this input field is static means we don't uh, we are not using any option uh, for that select value from the api so we can add the options here like uh, 11 and 11th class like this and so on so currently we have options so, so we are uh, currently we are taking the options from the api so we will keep this as a blank then in the advanced options we will write the options callback right this options callback will work as to get the options for this input field so i'll make it as a get classes options callback url will be the variable from the api.js file for now i am using the same url for now use up the url is that here this field on change callback and on change callback url will be used for when we change the classes means when we change the school year so what callback need to be triggered that we need to write down here so on change callback will uh, i will write down so we need to get the subject right so i'll uh, write here get subject and the url will be the get or subject url right and input to change on callback means we are changing we are changing the classes on that classes what needs to be changed we need to change the subject right means whenever we get the classes or whenever we select the subject uh, uh, classes then uh, it will go to this callback then it will call this api api url and from that uh, url the response will get up and the processing will be done and the, those options will get selected to this subject field that we will add one add add field that is for subject input type will be the select subject label i'll keep it as it is so for now we are uh, getting the options from that this callback url so i'll be keeping this blank and in the advanced option as well i'll keeping this all the fields as blank whether we want to add the validation you can add add here as well okay once your form is filled up so what you need to do is just need to click this generate form button once you click on this generate form here the form schema will be created okay so just do as per instructed here copy and save the json file so i'll download this file okay i'll download the form schema 
and then I'm going to form I'll copy this and I'll paste it where I need to use in this section I want to use that right so I'll add that here okay then uh, this is done then these are the input sections that we need to do this is form builder this will be our component currently it is uh, in our uh, builder uh, so we will we will soon upload it on the npm library so we don't need to import it from here we will be uploading from the npm and then we need to import this form section just or just here click here copy and then go there dynamic form okay i'll just paste it here no need to do extra things just need to copy and paste here a start form builder i have already i just yeah i have already imported here form builder so the form builder just okay then then variable declaration just need to copy that and paste it here okay then next part is the callback declaration yes just copy it and paste it so you will get all the code so i'll walk through the code the submit uh, just firstly will copy all the code then the render section is it copy and just paste it here in the render section or the template section okay <coughs> so what you have done here is we have imported our form builder we have just kept this as it is we have given the study material as a form title so it came here and then on the form submit it will go the form submit method and it will give you the all the fill, uh, form field of value so whatever manipulation you have to done you have to do here itself and then pass it to the form value the user url that we have added over here submit url in this so this will be here okay then the callback section right for for the classes we have added the get classes right option for that so get classes will be here okay so it will give it will give the api call for that given callback here we have given the url so it will give you the uh, it will call the api and get the data and in in this you just need to check the appropriate keys so which keys we need, you need to check here okay and then then later on for the classes and and for the the on change your on change callback right for the classes we have written the get subject method so we'll check that as well get subject get subject method whenever we change this classes this function will get triggered and the classes value will be will get here the value so whatever manipulation you have to do here you can do it here and pass this to api and change it accordingly and for the same for this keys as well okay so i'll make it i'll clear it i just i'll just control dot log just control it here so dot log Then, then done. Get classes. Get something. 
Okay, we are done then. Okay, so for this we just need to save here and check it on this. Oh, on section. It's duplicate. Right? Okay. Then we will get our form. As per we have created it here, so we will get this form here. Okay. No need to do any extra logic. Validations will be get, will get takes place the whether you have added here or not. So validations will be added as per you have filled up this form. Then done. And on the on the submit button, the submit form will get called and this API will get called. Then Thank you. So in this, so by using our form builder, so this is the process how we can uh, build our form. So you can easily build your form in just 10 to 15 minutes itself. Just make sure you will be correcting these things or reading these comments properly. Change these keys and using the API keys uh, from the API.js file. And also correcting the code where the where we are using the callback so its value. So as per that, you need to change your code a bit. And once it is done, you are done. Thank you.